Hi everybody and welcome back to another fountain pen video. I'm really excited to share today's video with you because I am comparing some very affordable Jinhao 82 pens to some pricier Pro Gear Slims made by Sailor. So I recently picked up some Jin Hao pens that were crazy inexpensive. I've been wanting to play around with color and these Jin Hao pens I purchased on Amazon, they were two for $14.99 and you got two of the same color, one in an extra fine nib and one in a fine nib. To my knowledge, Jin Hao only sells fine and extra fine in these Jin Hao 82s. Um, so I went in with one of my good friends and we split it. And so I took two extra fines and then I took two of the fines. In total, the order was $60, but we split it. So we basically spent $7.50 per pen. And we really wanted a little springy Easter vibe. So I ordered all of these colors, this beautiful yellow, um, a pink color, a mint green, and a very, very faint light, light blue, almost like a whitish blue. And I got all of them with gold trim and i think they're very pretty the other bonus to Jin Hao pens is that they are all sold with a converter i know that on my channel here a lot of people may be coming to me from my main channel so you may not be very passionate about fountain pens but maybe you're a little curious about fountain pens and i think it's much easier to jump into fountain pens buying a lower end item as opposed to spending all this money. But I really wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison and really see if the Pro Gear Slims are worth the money. So this first Pro Gear Slim was the very first gold nib that I purchased. And this is from the Shikiori series. There's not a lot of bounce in Sailor 14 karat gold nibs. Sailor is known for the feedback that you get when you write with their pens. It almost feels like you're writing with an extremely sharp tip pencil. That's kind of the sound and the feeling you get when you write with them. I purchased this pen on Amazon for just shy of $90. The second Pro Gear Slim that I purchased, I got in a medium fine nib. That's what most of the Pro Gear Slims come with, a medium fine nib. It's a Japanese nib, so it's mostly like a European fine nib. This is so beautiful. I loved the color of this. I got this on a special, like a Black Friday special on Endless Pens. I think it was around $200 after the sales. But what I didn't realize when I ordered this was that this has a 21 karat gold nib. I actually talked about this in my video where I went over my entire collection and I said, I don't know why this was so expensive. I just really liked the color of it. And it was so expensive because it's a 21 karat gold nib. This is beautiful. I usually keep Hara Hara ink in here, which is a sailor ink. The last Pro Gear Slim that I own is the Refresh Pen, which is from Yoseka Stationery. This is one of their exclusive Sailor Pro Gear Slims that they designed for their own brand. It has the Yoseka stationary finial. It's absolutely beautiful. It's in this very light blue. It has silver hardware on it and these kind of peachy coral translucent um, finial tips. I was able to purchase this in store at Yoseka and I bought it from Daisy, who is one of the owners and she was fantastic and i decided to go with a broad nib on this because you can't always get pro gear slims with a broad nib um, but this was i believe 330 dollars i was happy to give the business to this small company and i really love and value all of the content that Daisy puts out on her YouTube channel with Yoseka Stationery. I just wanted to give back a little bit. So these pens here, very expensive, but they're also three different price points. And I do think with Pro Gear Slims, if you do your homework and you're willing to get one of, an, one of the older models, you might be able to get a good deal on a Pro Gear Slim. Sailor is known for having an enormous amount of variety of color and selection. It can be quite the rabbit hole if you get into these pens because there's always special editions. They are always collaborating with different pen companies. You could spend a lot of money. I also have the Christmas Pudding Pro Gear Slim. I'm not featuring that in this video because I wanted to go with my light color pens that kind of complement the ones that I just got from Jin Hao. So these are all of the pens that I'm looking at. I'll show them up close. So these three over here are the Pro Gear Slims and these are the Jin Hao's over here. So clearly a huge difference in price, but how do they write? What are the differences that I have noticed when I'm writing with these pens? One of the things that I noticed first 
was that the Jinhao, the threading is more pronounced. It's not as smooth as it is on the Shikiori pens on the Sailors. I mean, size-wise, they're very similar. I did notice that the Jinhao nib is smaller, but it is a two-toned nib, which I really like. But I can show you for comparison the difference. This is the Pro Gear Slim. This is the Jinhao. You can see the difference in the nib size. You might also be able to see the difference in the threading that you can feel it. It's more pronounced on the Jinhao. Also, with all of the Jinhaos, this probably goes without saying, but we are not dealing with 14 karat gold or 21 karat gold nibs. We are dealing with steel nibs. I have put three different inks in this yellow pen. I first put um, a diamine ink vent gold in here, but it had a lot of shimmer and it would, it would barely write at all. Then I switched and I put another diamine ink vent calendar from a different year, from this past year. I put in dusted truffle, which I really love that color. Also, I had trouble, and this is the fine nib, I had trouble getting anything to come out of that. Then I decided I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison and actually use the same ink in both pens so you could really see the difference when I do my writing sample. So again, from the Diamine Ink Vent calendar, this year I used Three Kings, which is almost like a brownish mustardy gold color. I already had it in this pen, so I decided to put it in here. It's not a very spring color, but I thought it'd be nice to see the colors side by side. If you're new to fountain pens and you just want to give this hobby a try, and you wanna try some different colored pens and just see if you even enjoy writing with a fountain pen, it's really hard to beat the price, but you aren't going to get the same level of quality that you get with these specialized fountain pens. And they are taking a design that somebody else created and copying it. So this is the 21 karat gold nib, which is also two-tone versus the Jinhao nib. So this is the Winter Rain, this is the Jinhao. One of the other things that I think is kind of fun for the Jinhaos, not that you can't do this with Pro Gear Slims as well, but you can order, like I did, four Jinhaos or six Jinhaos, and you you know can pay under $50, get a bunch of them. I think they're even less expensive on AliExpress, um, but they weren't gonna get to me in time for Easter, and I really wanted this to be um, a nice spring video. You can mix and match your pens and do some pretty fun designs. I just think you can have fun with pens when they're not so expensive. Because um, you, I worry a little bit when I'm using higher end pens. And look at how cute this looks. And you can twist this off. And there you have your pink here. I just think it's really adorable. And if I do the opposite with the, the blue, twist that on. And then we have this, and I, I personally think this is really fun if you're wanting to mix things up a little bit. Doesn't that look so cute? I think it's really cute. So I always find when I'm spending less money on something, I take liberties. So on my other channel, I do a lot of thrifting at the Goodwill Outlet, and it's very inexpensive to pick things up at the Goodwill Outlet. And so oftentimes I'll take chances on different brands or maybe there's a stain on something and I want to work on it because it's a really good fabric. Maybe I want to take home a project if something's really interesting. I can take chances on things that are less expensive and I feel the same way with my pens. If I'm going to spend a lot of money on a pen, I'm going to make sure it's a classic style, that it has really great reviews, that I buy a color that I'm going to love in 10 years as much as I love today. I really try to stick to the classics when I'm making investments. But then when I just wanna have fun, play around with color, play around with inks, try a couple different nibs, I can really dig in with less expensive brands like Jinhao, so that is definitely a pro. It remains to be seen if the Jinhao pens will last as long as the Sailor pens, if the, the ink will get clogged in there. I already realized pretty quickly that I couldn't use any shimmer inks in here, but when I first started my pen journey and this Pro Gear Slim, this one that I bought off of Amazon, I really despised this pen because there was I had so much excitement and hope for the way this pen was gonna write because it was a 14 karat gold nib. And I did put some funky inks in here and because it's a medium fine Japanese nib, 
I was getting hard starts, things were skipping, um, it felt very scratchy to me. I wasn't used to the feedback of a sailor pen. Now I know the inks that behave and diamine ink is an ink that does very well for me in a standard color without the shimmer. Um, a sheening ink works okay in here, um, but the standard inks never are a problem. The other two pens that I wanna compare are my Yoseka Refresh pen and then the light blue pen from Jin Hao. I have Sailor Manyo Koke, which is a beautiful color. I bought that at Yoseka to go in my refresh pen. I'm gonna compare that to the Jin Hao. The only difference here is because this is a broad nib, you're gonna see a lot more ink down on the page. And I love using this refresh because it has a broad nib. So let's check out some writing samples and we can get into the nitty gritty here. Okay, so first up, we are going to use this yellow pen from Jin Hao and then my Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I have a Nostalgy notebook that I am trying out. This is a medium fine nib. Okay, so you can see the lines. There's that. And now we'll write with this. This is the Chin Hao. E2. It's looking a little bit lighter. I did have a different color in here and I didn't fully clean it out. This is a fine nib. It's definitely putting down the ink a little bit lighter, but we'll, we'll say three kings. I feel like this yellow pen of the three that I've used, I've had the most trouble with. And I think that's also the difference with these mass produced pens is that, you know, you win some and you lose some. Like I feel like the blue pen and the pink pen are writing really beautifully and I'm struggling with this yellow but we'll see. Maybe as I keep writing with it, since I just filled it up, there is definitely a difference. Definitely feels a little scratchier and it's much lighter. It doesn't even look like the same ink. It could just be that there's a little leftover from what I had in there before, which was dusted truffle. Um, but that's really interesting. I think we would have to keep writing. Um, this is definitely lighter. I mean, hands down, I prefer the um, Pro Gear Slim. But again, for the price, this was about $90. This was $7.50. This is the nib comparison. Okay. And then back to my bowl here. Okay, if I choose these two now, let's go to these, come back here. Um, we can start with the Sailor. Now this is gonna look very different just because um, this is a broad nib. This writes so nicely. And this is an abroad. This is the Yoseka Refresh pen. And the ink in here is, this writes like a marker. I love this ink. I love the shading and the sheening in this. It's so pretty. This may be a little bit of a tough comparison too because the, um, the nib is so different, but this certainly writes really nice. And I like how this is almost like a whitish blue. I think it's really pretty. Okay, so this is the... So it's a little bit scratchy, I would say, but not bad, not bad. And I definitely like this much better. This, I believe, is also a fine nib. Oh no, I take that back. This is extra fine. And this writes so much better than that. 
I don't know, Jinhao 82. Well, I'm gonna say light blue. Definitely a tiny bit scratchy. And this is with the Sailor Monyo. And just see, this is a little bit, a little bit of a drier right, you know, if we go boom, like that. Again, tough to compare because this puts down so much ink and it's beautiful, yeah. But you can see the variation in the color here. It's just so pretty. Okay, last up, I don't have my Winter Rain inked up, but I do have this. And I actually combined two colors with this. I combined Jingle Berry by Diamine. That's the ink vent calendar again. And then I also put a little bit of Ferris wheel press blushing mushroom in here because I wanted a little bit of shimmer, but I didn't want to clog it up. Now this one is a fine nib. This one writes really nicely. Jinhao 82, and this is a fine nib. I really wanted a nice pink pen. You can also get all of these um, Jinhaos with silver if you would prefer. And the ink is a <laughs> combo. Uh, this is the smoothest writer, I can say that with confidence. Uh, Jingleberry by Diamine. And Blushing Mushroom. There's more Jingleberry in here than Blushing Mushroom um, by Ferris Wheel Press. Yeah, this, this is probably my favorite of the three. And I've ordered some Diamine Mint Green for this color. It's like the perfect mint. So I haven't inked this up yet. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. This would be my favorite of the Jin Hao so far. And then I would say this is number two, and then this one I'm just struggling with. But when we're thinking in terms of price, I would say that these are a good value I think that these, you know, across the board write better, but do they write that much better for the price difference? And I guess you are the person who has to decide for yourself what is most important to you. So I have really enjoyed these. I love this color palette. There are so many different colors you can use with Jin Hao, so many to choose from. There's a lot of variety. You can find some really great deals. There is clearly a difference between the two. Oh, one other thing is there is no decoration in the finial of the gin house. They're just flat and these actually are so pretty. Let me know what you think. Are you pro Pro Gear Slims or do you like the value that you get with Jin Hao? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you wanna see more content from me. Ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else